Hello there! Well today I'll be creating this painterly colourful landscape using the paints in the 8-piece oil colour intro set. Before I get into it though, if you love creating art, then check out our webpage at www.montmart.net because we have lots more free art lessons there. We also have our Facebook, Instagram and the Creative Connection. That's our art club, linked to the site also. So let's get into it. using the eight piece oil color intro set. I'll also be using an easy clean wood palette, brushes, a palette knife, and my support is the canvas panel type. A detailed list of exactly what is used is in the downloadable PDF. The intro set comes supplied with white, black, lemon yellow, orange, brilliant red, purple, phthalo blue, and emerald green. And they're all in 18 milliliter tubes. So lay out all of these colors bar the purple, emerald and orange. So once we have our colours laid out, we can mark up our canvas. And that's really easy because all we have to do is put in the path because that's the only element of compositional importance. Then we can build up the greys. Once the line is in, add a light grey. I like to add colour into the base touch and build the tone up directly on the canvas. For this reason, just add little amounts of colour and balance out the lights and darks. I like to add colour to grey so it's not too drab. Next, add some pure titanium white into the sky area. Keep this relatively thin and add some linseed medium so it flows nicely. I then add some cool greys into my middle ground. I add some purple into the area that will be the central focal point of the work. Blend the colours but don't over blend. Try to keep some tonal variation there, so the illusion of fog is suggested on the finished project. I add black into the right side. Foliage will be added over the top, but it needs to be dark to create a depth under that foliage. Be careful with the black, as it can absolutely obliterate the surrounding tones if they are contaminated with it. Once your tones are in, softly blend them with a clean brush. I add more black into the right of the canvas. We can now add some colour.
Okay then, well that's the forest in. I think I've got a little bit too much uh, colour in there and we've lost a little bit of sky. So I'm going to put a little bit of sky in, just peeking through the trees there with white. So let's get that on. The adding of paint to suggest sky on top of the foliage is an old impressionist's trick and it's quite effective. Obviously, don't take it too far down the trees as the sky would not be visible through that growth. This could also be done with a palette knife and the mark that is created is less consistent and would probably look more convincing. The impasto application holds more interest as well. Once you apply a few dabs, step back to survey your work and don't overcook it. Any technique where you can save time is a good thing and not just so the work happens quicker, but because the more simply you suggest an effect, somehow always conveys better to the viewer. Well, the sky's in and um, that all looks pretty good. The last step is to add some shape and dimension to the tree trunks and we'll add a little bit more foliage and stuff like that in. For this, you will require the palette knife. So let's get our paint on. See you next time!